Cups and welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to be back. I was honestly so excited to upload another vlog that I could not sleep last night. I'm just so ready to get back to my regular upload schedule. I feel very refreshed after taking some time off and also while I've been away, I've been doing a lot of redecorating. point out that I'm not completely done painting it which you know when you see this on my Instagram account it looks nice and uh, you know complete and finished but um it's it's not done <laughs> so just want to point that out not completely done painting it but if you're curious the paint color is called agreeable gray I love it it's such a soft gray it almost looks white it probably does look white on camera but um it's a very very soft gray and i think it's very relaxing and that's exactly what i wanted for my workspace so i think it's great and i'm very happy with it yes also we've got luna here she is also very very relaxed in this room and i don't know i don't think i've kind of introduced luna on my channel i guess um, I think it was my Loot Crate unboxing was the first time I showed her on my channel, but some of you may not know uh, who this cat is. So a lot of you know Ellie and Margo, and we recently adopted Luna. So she is so cute, and um, she does have a little leg deformity, so I, yeah, you can probably see it. So her leg is kind of curved like that, but she gets around just fine and she's really, really, really sweet <laughs> and I love her so much. So we're really excited to have another fur baby in the house. So now you guys have officially met her. So um, for this room, I did get a couple of new things. This is another boho um, wall hanger thing. <laughs> Um, I really want to go for the boho look. I think it's really cute. Um, and I think once I'm done painting this section, I think I'm going to hang it right here. So, um, we're just going to start right over here. So, I have my vanity. And then I recently just got this makeup organizer from Target. And, oh my gosh, focus! Hello? Are you going to focus? Hello? This is officially my new favorite foundation. It's the Tarte Face Tape, and oh my gosh, it's incredible. Over here, we just have a little marble coaster for my pink drink, and then we have a little fake plant from Target. I just have a little stool there with a fuzzy white rug over top of it. I have two lamps. Those are from Ikea. You guys have probably already seen those because those aren't new. Um, but then I got these which I love. Those came in a set, actually. So they came together and they're from Target. And I love this color pink. Oh my gosh, that's like my favorite color ever. The bedspread is from Target. Little pillow from Target. I mean, basically almost everything is from Target, so. <laughs> oh, actually, not everything, though. Um, so the wall hangings are from Kirkland's. So, but I think everything else is pretty much from Target. So, had to hang up my Hufflepuff scarf. I've got this nice big palm leaf plant. That's from Target as well. Then we've got this nice wall hanging. Then I've got my bookshelf and I wanted to keep it pretty minimal. Oh, and I got some new balloons. 27. I officially turned 27 on June 8th, so it's really coming up, and I'm actually so excited for 27. It's like the year I've really been looking forward to, and the reason behind that is because 27 is my lucky number, and I just feel like it's going to be a really good year. So, yeah. So that's my office, and now I'm going to show you some things downstairs. You guys already saw my Keurig at the beginning of this vlog. I got that at Target, and I pretty much walked into Target and wasn't even planning on getting a coffee maker but I saw the color of the Keurig and I was like oh it's so cute so had to get that so anyway <laughs> Here 
is our pantry slash laundry room and I wanted to show you some things that I've added to this wall. So every time I'm decorating a space in my home, I always ask myself like, how can I make this look a little bit more magical? So I decided to put the Alex and Annie necklace up as home decor under the keys please sign. So I think it's a very subtle touch, but it's just enough to make it, you know, not a muggle home. It's a very, I think it's a very welcoming Hufflepuff home, at least that's what I'm going for. So I really like the way that it turned out. And if you're curious, this mail holder is from Target. The dry erase calendar is from Target. And then this um, little sign is from Kirkland's so yeah I also bought these little organizers to organize my pantry so I'm actually going to be adding these Apple Jacks into one of these containers so we're gonna go ahead and do that oh and these containers are from Target and they do come in a set and then they're also sold separately as well <laughs> Look what just came in the mail. Geek Gear Wizardry Special Edition. Are you excited, Margo? Are you excited, Ellie? Should we open this now? Okay, here's what I'm thinking. We will go to Starbucks and get a pink drink, and then we'll do just a couple of unboxings. Um, in fact, this is going to be my biggest unboxing video ever. I mean, we have, it's like Christmas, okay? We have, we have this much to go through. Get ready for lots of magic, cause it's happening. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this really is like a big tower of geek gear. I mean, I know I am very behind on my unboxings, but I'm actually kind of excited to do it this way because I've never done like a bulk unboxing before. So I think it's just gonna be, I don't know. I think it's gonna be like more exciting this way. So anyway, let's go to Starbucks and then we'll come back and we'll see uh, what magic lies within. <laughs> Got my Starbucks, and I was gonna take you guys with me, but basically I had to charge my camera. So, now we're gonna dive in to these boxes. Okay, so this one is from, I believe, February. So we're gonna do this one first. And this is the only box that I have taken a little peek inside of. The rest of them, I have not peeked inside at all. Um, so, I do know one of the items, so we're gonna start with that one. Um, the rest of the items, I don't know uh, what they are, so. Okay, so this is actually something that I featured on my Instagram quite a while back, and this is the Magical Golden Egg, and it has the little song from the Goblet of Fire when the Mer people are singing, and it says, come seek us where our voices sound, we cannot sing above the ground. And while you're searching, ponder this, we've taken what you'll, soar uh, what you'll sorely miss. An hour long, you'll have to look and to recover what we took. But past an hour, the prospect's black. Too late, it's gone. It won't come back. It's very detailed and very true to the actual golden egg that we see in the film. So we're gonna set this back here because I feel like it kind of fits my aesthetic. But I really, really love that. Um, so let's see what else we have. We've got a t-shirt, so it's a nice black t-shirt featuring all of the animals for the four Hogwarts houses. Ooh, butterscotch bath bomb. Okay, I love when they do stuff like this because I will definitely use this. <gasps> I can smell it already. Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah! Maybe I shouldn't take it out of the plastic quite yet because it looks like it's gonna be kind of messy. But it smells really, really good. And I like how the packaging kind of looks like a little, little butterbeer container. So that's really cute. I love that. Um, looks like we have a wand. So this is a Noctua wand. 
and this is from the Noble Wands collection. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, this is so cute. So we have a little owl at the top of the wand, and this is so cool because it has little envelopes, which are like little Hogwarts letters, all down the wand. Oh my gosh, I love that. And this is interesting too because this wand is kind of flat. It's not like a perfectly round wand, so I find that to be very interesting. Then we've got some tea. This is chocolate frog tea, which you might have seen the chocolate frog tea already in my other unboxing. I think it was the special edition unboxing and it was like a larger size of this, but this is so delicious and I love receiving teas in my boxes. And then we've got one last thing in this box. Oh, this is gonna be so messy with all this, <laughs> all these little paper thingamajigs. Oh, mm. <gasps> oh! It's a poster and it says always and it's a dough. <gasps> I love the pastel colors. Okay, moving on to the next box. Um, How am I gonna know what the next boxes I should have marked these okay so that was February which one's March and which one's April so let's just go ahead and open this box so we have a magical potted creature it says warning whenever this plant is unearthed it screams the scream of this plant when it is fully grown will kill any person who hears it but a young plant scream will usually only knock a person out for several hours it is advised when handling this plant that you wear adequate ear protection. Hmm, wonder what this could be. <laughs> We've got a little mandrake. Ah! <laughs> I love plants, which I mean, you can probably tell throughout this room that I love plants. Oh my gosh, yes, I love this, I love this, I love this. So I am a Hufflepuff, obviously, so I love anything to do with herbology, and this is so cute. <laughs> Ooh, probably shouldn't take him out of the pot without putting my earmuffs on. <laughs> I'm gonna set him back there as well. Oh my gosh, I love that. We've got a t-shirt. Ooh, I like the white t-shirt. So we have a chocolate frog design. Oh, I love the chocolate frog boxes. I think they're so beautiful. Ooh, we have a magical treats box. This is cute. This looks like it's from Honey Dukes. And it says, Professor's Sherbert Lemons. Ooh, Sherbert Lemons. Oh, so cute! I like that they're adding like food and drinks and bath bombs and just all sorts of things. Oh, wizardry tea strainer. Oh my gosh, this is perfect because we always receive tea in our boxes now, so yes. just a little tea strainer and then um, it has a little charm here and I like that the beads are like Hufflepuff colors and then it has a little owl charm at the bottom so that's really cute and then we do have another tea in this box oh <gasps> divination tea oh love that so this is Earl Grey with lavender infusion oh I love lavender so the ingredients are black tea, lavender, cornflower petals, and bergamot oil. That sounds so good and so relaxing. I might actually, I might make this before I go to bed tonight. We have a little card that says, Packed with Love and Care by Alan. Thank you, Alan. And we have a Geek Gear scratch card, which these are new to the boxes, which is, uh, this is not focusing, but um, there we go. So these are new to the boxes, and this is very exciting. So scratch and win. What should I scratch it with? I guess I'll just use my nails. Let's see if we win anything. Better luck next time. Oh. Dang. <laughs> okay. Ooh, we have another chocolate frog. La, 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 la. Chocolate frog item. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't talk. So we've got this little box. Is this actually a chocolate frog? Like candy? I hope so. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh. Oh, and there's two of them. No, wait. Is there four of them? Oh yeah, there's four of them. <gasps> oh, yes, 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 yes. Mmm. 
looking so good. Okay, we have a little poster. Oh my gosh. I am loving all of this chocolate frog stuff. This is so cute. Ah, anything to do with honeydukes is like just so cute and so fun. Then we have, ugh. oh my gosh, I'm gonna have such a big mess to clean up after this. We have a Hufflepuff poster. How cute is this? It says patience, dedication, and loyalty. Oh, I love, I love the yellow. Okay, that's two boxes down, but we still have two more to go. So I'm gonna save the special edition one for last because I feel like we should, we should save that one, the like the best one for last. All right, so what should we start with? Should we start with the t-shirt? I see a wand, or should we start with tea? Let's start with the t-shirt. What is it? Ooh, so we have a Death Eater mask on there. That's actually a really cool design though. I like the gold. That's really pretty. It's a very subtle Death Eater shirt. Like when I first see it, I'm like, oh, what is that? But then when you really look, it's like, oh, Death Eater. Got it. <laughs> we have another Geek Gear scratch card. Better luck next time. We have some liquid luck tea. I could definitely use some liquid luck. <laughs> so this is black tea, sweet nut brittle pieces, hazelnuts, sugar, cocoa nibs, flavoring, and vanilla flavoring. Ooh, caramel infusion. Yes, please. Then we have another wand. This is Nathair wand. And the core is a snake scale. Very interesting. A snake scale. Oh, yeah, okay. Whoa. Okay, this is really, really cool. So we've got a snake that is wrapped around the wand. I hope there's a badger one eventually. <laughs> we have some jewelry and it says, you're a wizard. So it's a little necklace. <gasps> you guys know how much I love Harry Potter jewelry, so I will definitely be wearing this. So it has a little lightning bolt and a little H for Hogwarts. So very nice. And this box was packed with love and care by David. Thank you, David. Ooh, we have some liquid luck. One sip and you'll find that all your endeavors succeed. Ooh, yes, please. <gasps> oh, this is so cute. This might possibly be my favorite thing that I've received in a really long time. I know it's like very small and just like a little trinket, but this is so cute. And also, I just really, really love glitter, and this is gonna look so beautiful in my Instagram photos. Um, let's see, we have Butterscotch Beer Fudge. This is the Magical Treats box. I love these little colors. Oh, that's so fun. So, oh, cute! It's in like little tissue paper. This looks like it's straight from Honey Dukes. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's good. We have a poster. Oh my gosh, I like this a lot. So this is a poster of the different wands, and I like how subtle this is. So we've got Albus Dumbledore's wand, Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, Ron Weasley, Neville Longbottom, Ginny Weasley, Minerva McGonagall, Luna Lovegood, that one's my favorite, uh, Lord Voldemort, Severus Snape, and Bellatrix Lestrange. Okay, I need to stop eating that fudge. <laughs> Last box for today, we have the Geek Air Wizardry Special Edition. Ah! Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, so, uh, something smells really good in here. What is that? Okay, okay, wait. One thing at a time. So, we have <laughs> a Niffler t-shirt and it says, treat yourself. Look at him, he has like all his little jewelry and his little diamonds and his little crown. He's so cute. All right, we have a long sleeved option as well. I see the house colors here. <gasps> oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, I love my little badger, he's so cute. <laughs> I like that he's in the front too. <laughs> okay, something smells so good, I have to know what it is. <gasps> it's this, I bet it's this. This is so good. 
Hufflepuff bath salts. This is so incredible. I love this so much. And so what I'm smelling is the citrus. It, it has a very like citrus lemony scent and it smells so clean, so fresh. I'm using this tonight. I'm gonna get my lavender divination tea. I'm gonna take a bath with my bath salts and this is just so amazing. I'm so, so happy. We have a poster of the Quibbler Undesirable number one. This one reminds me of the Bellatrix poster that I got. I can't remember which box it was, but yeah, that kind of reminds me of that, the black and white design and stuff. But yeah, that's cute. Love the Quibbler. Ah! This is a purpura wand, <laughs> and the core is Boomslang Venom. Ooh. And the wood type is alder and maple. Whoa. So we've got this guy here, and oh, it's kind of like a rough uh, wood type, and it's not, it's not very smooth like some of the wands. And then at the bottom it has a little purple detailing, so that is very nice. And I do love that it comes in a box. Um, ooh, we have a large version of the Liquid Luck tea, which is very, very nice. So I have a full supplies of Felix Delicious, which is great. Um, then we have a poster, educational decree number 29, extracurricular activities are subject to review by the High Inquisitor. And this box was packed with love and care by Carol. Thank you, Carol. We have another scratch card, so let's see if I win this time. <laughs> and better luck next time. Right, we have a another wizardry tea strainer. I wonder if this is the very same as my other one. It is actually, so I could probably give this one away. So we have another tea strainer. It's identical to the one that I had in one of the other boxes. So it just has the little Hufflepuff colored beads and the little owl charm on it. So I'm gonna keep this one in the box um, since I have two of them, so I can give this one away. And then the very last thing for all of these unboxings is a, I think this is a mug, and I love getting Harry Potter mugs. <laughs> I can use this with my new Keurig. Oh, and it's a Quidditch one. Oh, very nice. So this is a 15 ounce mug. <gasps> oh, yes, I love this. It has the golden snitch, it says Quidditch, and it has the Hogwarts crest on there. And then on the other side it says Harry Potter. And then also on the inside, I really like this extra detail. So if you look on the inside, there is a golden snitch. This is the aftermath of my unboxings. Well, that was so fun. I'm definitely very excited to use all of my new stuff. And um, it's so hard to choose my favorite items because we went through so much. Um, but I really like uh, this little guy. And I really like the Liquid Luck. And I love the golden egg. And I also really love the bath salts, the bath bombs, the teas. I love that kind of stuff. And the coffee mug, the Niffler shirt. Um, yeah, there's just like so many good things. So I would love to hear what you enjoyed from these boxes. And um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. But I will see you again next week. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.